There is no better home to live in than one that is automated. Automation, especially in your home, is one of the best things you can do to make your life easier than ever. Imagine all those repetitive tasks that you do every day being automated. Or better yet, imagine walking into the house with many grocery bags and looking for the light switch. That is just very tedious. But what if you could automate it all, such that when you walk into the house or even come out of the driveway, a bunch of things that you have to do will happen automatically. Today, we will look at 10 clever ways to use smart motion sensors to automate some of the daily tasks in your house. Make sure you watch until the very end to find out the best way to automate your home. Turning on the lights. It goes without saying that this is the first thing people think of when they think of automating their houses with motion sensors. Imagine a scenario where you just came home and it's late. Not only that, but you also have a lot of grocery bags in the car that you have to take to the kitchen. Looking for the light switch in such situations is one of the most hectic things you can ever do. But with a motion sensor, you can set it up such that the moment someone walks into the room, especially in the evening or at night, the lights just automatically turn on. For this to be more effective, you have to make sure that the sensor is strategically placed to avoid it sensing people that are just walking by, or even your pet triggering it. But all in all, this is a lifesaver when you're busy or just tired. Turn on the porch light. There are a lot of ways that you can play around with motion sensors and lights. There are those times when you hear someone on the front porch at night, and to find out who is there, you have to switch on the lights. There are times when you just get tired of looking for the light switch on the front porch as well. To avoid this, you can set up a motion sensor so that whenever someone walks onto the front porch, the light there just turns on automatically. This can save a lot of time because you can just see who is there without looking for the switch. And if you think about it, it also saves some time. Catch the sneaky culprits. Teenagers tend to just sneak out of the house and go to a party or something. If you have always suspected this and want to catch them in the act, you can use the help of a motion sensor. You can set up the motion sensor at the door and configure it with a camera such that when there is motion past curfew hours, it will take a picture of the culprit and send it right to your phone. This will help you catch them in action and you will have undeniable proof to ground them. If they sneak out of their bedroom window, you can also set it up there and catch them in the action. But if you want to ensure they never suspect anything, ensure they don't know it's there. Otherwise, if they know it's there, they will definitely find another way to get out. Automate your office. If you have been working from home, you already have a room that you have set up as your home office. And for some people, there is always that home office where they can just go and plan themselves or reconcile their thoughts. If you are using a desktop or a monitor, you will often waste time waiting for it to boot up. And not only that, but you might find that you waste a bit more time as you wait for your apps to open up. You can make this easier with a motion sensor so that the moment you walk into your office, the lights go on and your monitor switches on too. If you use the same apps regularly, you can make it such that once the monitor switches on, it opens the apps up and they start loading. This can reduce the time you spend waiting for the monitor to boot and your apps to open. Silencing your alarm. To most people, there is nothing as annoying as an alarm. The most common thing for people who don't want to wake up to do is hit the snooze button or switch it off entirely and go back to sleep. If you are prone to this but really want to stop, we might have the best solution. You can set up the motion sensor so that the only way to switch off the alarm is by getting out of the bed and walking to some point in the room. This will ensure you get off the bed no matter what. You can set up the motion sensor a far distance from the bed, maybe by walking into the dressing room or the bathroom, which is a common thing for someone to do when they wake up. You can even set it up at the door, so you have to leave the room before the alarm goes off. Wherever you choose, as long as you have to get out of the bed to turn the alarm off. Play some music. 
After waking up, some people prefer to turn on some music or a podcast and listen to it as they shower. Instead of looking for that playlist and hitting play every time, why not use the power of automation with motion sensors? You can set it up so that when you walk into the bathroom to shower and get ready for the day, your favorite playlist to start the day is already playing, or even that podcast you listen to every day, to give you the motivation that you need to keep going. You can even integrate this with the previous setup for silencing your alarm. Do this, and your life will be easier in the morning. Make your pet's life easier. For those with pets in their home, especially dogs or cats, you know what a struggle it is to keep forgetting to open the dog panel in the morning or close it at night. However, what if you didn't have to anymore? You can set up a motion sensor near the panel so that when your dog or cat walks by, it can automatically open and your buddy can go outside to do their business. This will also make the pet's life easier too because it doesn't have to keep calling you to open the panel. There is already one such panel that can open automatically when your pet walks by. Turn the TV off. More often than not, you will wake up in the morning and find out that the TV has been on the entire night. Not only that, but you may also find that the TV has been on with a blank screen for hours on end. And even though this could be more entertaining than cricket, it's still bad in terms of bills. You can set up the motion sensors such that when a person leaves the room, or if the room has been empty for a certain amount of time with no motion, the TV turns off. All you need to do is make sure that you set it up in a way that the TV doesn't turn off in the middle of the film because you're still watching it. Honey, I'm home. If you have a garage with two car bays, one for the husband and one for the wife, you can make your life easier and reduce texting the moment you get to the house. You can do this by setting up the motion sensors such that when your partner parks the car inside, the motion sensor somehow sends a message to the other person telling them you are home. Turning off the lights. The lights will not be on the entire time. There are many ways you can set this up to ensure that your lights are controlled. Firstly, you can set the motion sensor in a position where it can sense anyone walking out of the room. If no one is in the room, or if it's the last person to leave the room, the lights automatically turn off. You can also set the motion sensor such that when a room has been vacant for a certain duration, if the lights are on, they will go off automatically. The only downside to this is if you have a pet. The motion of the pet might keep the lights on, given that the motion sensors cannot detect whether the motion is that of a person or an animal. But with the right configurations, you can ensure that it only detects human movement. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more home automation videos, subscribe and leave a comment saying I subscribed. I will personally reply to your comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.